friends, Lisa here for another video. Today I want to talk about two words that we either need to change our perception on or eliminate using altogether in our life. And those two words are transition and moderation. These are two words that I have constantly used in the past to justify or as an excuse to eat whatever I wanted. Now, We'll start with moderation. That's one I've done a video on before, but I wanted to address it again because a lot of people will say, well, I'm going to eat this in moderation. The problem with that is that if you have to use the word moderation, you probably already know that you shouldn't be having it. And that's why you need to use the word moderation. You're going to have this little thing in moderation, but it's it might not be good for you. The problem with that is that we constantly use the word moderation for a lot of little things that all add up to be not good foods in our diets. So for example, um, Monday comes around and you would have, I don't know, a latte in moderation because maybe you don't go out and get lattes, so you have one of those. And then Tuesday comes and there's a lunch thing at work, so maybe there's some food there that you don't typically eat and you'll have that in, in moderation. Um, and then Wednesday comes along and your kids are out doing something or whatever, you're running around and you don't always go out to get takeout, but that night you had to, but you're having it in moderation, right? So there's a Wednesday thing. Maybe Thursday is another thing and Friday is pizza night and Saturday is cheat day. And there's all of these little things, maybe one meal, maybe one food, maybe one thing every day or even throughout the day there's all these little things that add up and eventually they make you bigger or make you feel sicker. If you have to use the word moderation, most of the time you're using it to justify eating something that you know you shouldn't be having. The word moderation, we need to change over to keeping things not as often. For example, I eat sweet potatoes and avocados in moderation, which really is maybe two or three times a year, if that. Uh, those are foods, they're still healthy foods, they're still whole foods, they're not fractionated or processed or from an animal, but they aren't necessarily the greatest foods for me. I don't really like avocados and plus they make me feel like I took a sleeping pill, tranquilizer or something if I have one in my salad at night. And I, again, I do have them on very rare occasions, but they do make me feel really sleepy and I think it's the high fat content, either that or I am sensitive to avocados. But aside from that, I think that we need to change our perception on the word moderation. If it's a food that you know is not good for you or a food that you're trying to avoid or a food that you've eliminated out of your diet but you still have once in a while, that's when you know you're misusing the word moderation and you have to work with yourself to let that go and realize that if you do have to use that word, then you shouldn't be eating what you're going to eat in moderation. Uh, the other word is transition and this is a touchy one, but I am just going to share my um, story-ish or whatever I feel about that word because it applies in my life. I actually use the word transition all, so many times as an excuse to eat whatever. Um, for example, back in the day when I would try to do raw vegan, um, maybe I would try to be transitioning, maybe I felt like I couldn't do it cold turkey so I would do it slower and then I would want maybe a you know cooked pasta or whatever at the in-laws house. I would say, well, I'm in transition so I can still have this even though I know that I could bring my own food or like the circumstances surrounding that was more I was using the word transition just to get a plate of pasta because I knew I could still technically have it but I really shouldn't have had it so I was using the word transition to just basically eat whatever I felt like I could still technically eat here and there, you know, it's the same as the word moderation. They can be interchanged and used differently and twisted to keep things in your life that you know you don't need in your life. So I wanted to go over those two words with you guys and change the word transition over to a goal oriented 
thing like you're transitioning so next week you're letting go of this or just like in my 52 to a new you video series like there's always something new every week that you're going to change or release once you release it it should be just released you shouldn't technically actually go back to it I mean some people will once in a while here and there um, but you want to try your best to not use those words as excuses to stay where you are or go backwards because you're trying to move forward and you're trying to be a better you so you want to switch your perception on those words so that they benefit you instead of keeping you where you are or going backwards so i hope you guys like that little video um click like if you did and subscribe to my channel to find more videos and be um notified when i have new ones out you can find me on facebook twitter pinterest instagram and youfood all at raw food romance and until the next video guys have a great day and fruit on